G'day guys, how you going? Hope you're doing well and taking care of yourself. Well, Victoria, as an entire state, has gone full Sodom and Gomorrah. What the proposal is, is that they have a Mardi Gras that lasts for two months. So they're going to celebrate Pride for two months. Now what is very interesting about this is the timing of it. Now they've decided that they're going to run this through from December to February. That's a very suspicious point in time if you ask me. Now we do have a little thing known as Christmas during that period, so I definitely believe that this is a direct attack on Christianity, but a lot of you Christians out there will know that the Christian festival has really been completely compromised over the years and has lost all real meaning. Most people don't even understand what it's about. They think it's about gift giving, that type of thing. It was overrun by corporations some time ago. But now we've got this pride organisation who've decided to run it for two months. But what really is very insidious about all of this is that the fact that children are on school holidays during that period. Now they're going to be spending over six million dollars in promoting this and making it an annual event of course because one of their priorities is to make sure that it expands out into the regional areas. So your general conservative base which is in regional areas are going to be bombarded with this entire concept. Now I really do think it's a bit of a worry that uh, they are having this particular type of thing going on for two months. It is a bit extravagant and a bit excessive um, to push it through for two months. I mean, there are no festivals that run for that period of time. There's a lot of different uh, cultures and religions around the world that have all sorts of festivals, but they certainly don't run for two months. But uh, as I say, I expect that this is really about conditioning people uh, during the holiday period. Uh, so they've got maximum impact on people who are either on holidays or you know as I say children are definitely vulnerable at that period of time because people are looking for something to do and uh, they're exposing children to this and that really is one of the main agendas behind all of this and that is conditioning children to accept this entire agenda. Now I personally wouldn't be participating in it but uh, you know a lot of people do just simply for the spectacle of it. Um, unfortunately there are a lot of people who do agree with it that aren't a part of that community um, but this is the way the world is going, and uh, as I said, this is more of a Sodom and Gomorrah type of atmosphere. And these people think that it's uh, unfair to criticise them, and that they have been persecuted, even though we are 24-7, have this rubbish rammed down our throats, whether we like it or not. It's in absolutely everything that you come across, from products to movies and things like this. Uh, but there's no holding back, apparently, and they want to make sure that we're seeing this constantly 24 7 and now as i say for two months two solid months of these people who are morally corrupted are just going to be let run free to do pretty much whatever they like now we've also seen around the world with these so-called celebrations and parades where people uh, of you know extreme degeneracy are out there displaying their perversions um, just recently uh, in the UK, there was people who were gimps and, you know, all of that uh, dressing up in leather and behaving like animals and uh, being led around by the collar. We even saw the police uh, normalising it. Um, it is getting to the proportions now where um, it's infecting absolutely everything. And unfortunately, uh, there isn't a great deal of pushback on it because if you do, that makes you a bigot. Well... I would rather be a bigot than a capitulator of this type of sinful behaviour. As I've mentioned many times before, I'm a Christian and I follow the teachings of Jesus and if Jesus says no, then it's no as far as I'm concerned and that's good enough for me. These people seem to think that they know better than Jesus, but uh, huh, this is because they're filled up with uh, satanic beliefs and uh, demon behaviour and I'm quite sure a large portion of these people are actually possessed. You can see it in their faces, the way they behave and the things that they do. Uh, this certainly isn't any kind of normal natural behaviour. Uh, but this is what we're going to get. It will spread, no doubt, as we've seen other things spread. Um, the government is funding this. Um, <laughs> it is Victoria, and as we all know, that Victoria is the most woke um, state in Australia. Uh, but this is what's going to happen around the rest of the country, and no doubt around the world, because it is a case of one-upmanship. Um, they are saying that they want it to rival the Mardi Gras of uh, New South Wales. Um, so you know, it's this competition thing where people want to do that, uh, you know, I'm better than you thing, and uh, keep pushing it and pushing it. So 
eventually I expect we will see this thing just pushed onto us all year long and uh, these random events and uh, groups of you know perverse people running around the streets doing perverse things uh, completely uh, free to do whatever they like uh, normal people standing up and saying anything against this will obviously be persecuted uh, as we are already um, if you disagree with any of this type of stuff you're labeled with all sorts of names but it really doesn't matter because I personally don't care what they call me. Uh, I will never capitulate to any of this type of behavior. It is unacceptable and I make sure that my children are not exposed to it. Um, and even when they are, uh, I, I definitely spend quite a bit of time making sure they understand what is exactly wrong with it. I have four children and uh, over the years they've been, you know, this attempted indoctrination at schools and things like that. Uh, but my relationship with my children is very good and they tell me exactly what's going on and then I can explain to them what's wrong with these things and I have given them permission to walk out of any of this kind of rubbish when they're starting to push it and uh, should the school uh, feel in any way that that's a problem that they need to contact me and uh, I think that uh, you know, all of you guys out there should probably be doing the same thing just to make sure that you know, children do have uh, the opportunity to be set straight unfortunately there are people out there that uh, have spent too much time not worrying about it and uh, allowing the world to manipulate their children and now they're struggling to actually uh, have a real relationship with their children. Um, you know, children can't be set free to do whatever they like. They need to be guided. They need to be manipulated and indoctrinated into correct modes of thinking. Um, that was uh, the point of indoctrination really when it comes to your own children anyway. but. You may disagree with that point, um, but you know if you're finding that your children are straying, then and you've got no control over what they're doing or their opinions, um, and you're at loggerheads with them, this is why. But I do not agree with what's happening, and I certainly will stand up against it. But this is what we are going to get: is more and more of this. Uh, it is an attack on Christianity, and uh, you know, especially because it's the, the holiday season with. Christmas in there, so they are going to spend a great deal of time, effort and money uh, on obliterating uh, the traditional festivals and uh, overwhelming them. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see the uh, you know, Christmas parades and things like that are infiltrated and they just become um, more of these pride marches and things like that. Uh, honestly, I fully expect this year to see gay Santa. I, I really do expect to see that. Um, you know, and gay reindeers, these sorts of things, rainbow reindeers and all of that sort of stuff, I, I really do think that's coming. Um, but it's not going to stop. They are going to continue to do it, especially if the government is funding it.